Okay, so today we are going to discuss uh, question for Mika. Hydrogen peroxide H2O2 undergoes decomposition reaction. So you can see in the equation, H2O2 decomposes to form water and oxygen gas. A student has carried out an experiment to study the rate of reaction and the results of the experiment at 25 degrees C are listed in the table below by using a graphical method. So they said graphical method. They never say linear graph, okay? That means not necessarily you must use integrated rate law. Okay, not necessarily must use integrated rate law, which is y equals to mx plus c. Which is y equals to mx plus c. Ini tak semestinya digunakan lah. Because the question only wants us to use graphical method. So, we have another graphical method is known as half life graph okay apart from integrated rate graph rate law graphs which is linear we also have half life graph okay so half life graph is much easier than integrated rate law graph or linear graph method we will see how, what happened okay i will show you the working you can do the calculation uh, you can plot the graph later you can send me in the telegram Okay. okay, so this is what given in the question. They give you time second and they give you H2O2 concentration in molar. Okay, so here they give the data and here they give the data. Okay, what is the first step you all should do? You should do is you have to plot a graph. I go to the next slide. Eh? Slide number nine. You have to, I divide this into two because I want to show you. Um, sorry. Okay, I divide into two. Okay, uh, maybe this part, I just take a part of it. Like this divide three lah divide three okay so here here and here okay like that okay we will plot what you are going to plot you you need three graph paper eh? three graph paper okay so this is concentration of h2 versus time concentration of h2o2 versus time and concentration of h2o2 versus time okay now let's say i plot the graph okay i plot the graph uh, you can see there from 2.32 at zero second when it reaches 200 2800 second it reduces to 0.28 that means if your graph you plot, you get this pattern. Okay, maybe I take here the first one. If you plot a graph, you get a linear graph with negative slope. Okay. Let's say anda pergi plot data dekat soalan empat ini yang diberikan jadual atas graph paper dan anda dapat satu garis lurus kecerunan negatif negative slope then the answer is zero order okay but let's say you get a curve katakan you dapat satu curve eh? you get a curve like that okay dapat curve macam tu okay apa yang anda kena buat adalah okay contoh eh saya beritahu contoh ini adalah 1.0 mula eh Half of 1.0 is 0 0.5. Half of that. Eh? So, kita pergi sini. Dot, 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 dot. Kemudian turun bawah. Dot, 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 dot. Ini T1. Okay, time 1. Kemudian half of 0 0.5 is 0 0.25. Separuh daripada 0.5. So, you take your ruler. Dot, 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 dot. 
Tu ron sini. T2. Okay. Now what you do is. You kira time ini dan kira time ini. Katakan ini 18 second. Yang ini pun 18 second. Ratio 1 kepada 1. Maka itu adalah first order. It's a first order. But let's say. Okay, you get a curve like this. Kemudian you buat benda yang sama. Sini 1.0. Half of that 0.5. Dot dot dot. T1. Half of that 0.25. Dot dot dot. Turun. Sini 18. Sini 36 Ataupun 37 Contoh eh Contohlah 37 ke 7, 38 ke macam tu Ratio is almost 1 to 2 Then is second order Okay So this is the possibility of order of reaction Kalau anda gunakan half life method Half life graph This half life graph is much more easier than integrated rate law where you have to plot three graph and find which one is the linear okay half life easier because you tapai column tu tapai tambah sini you no need to add more columns tak perlu tak perlu tambah column kat sini okay what you need to do is you just have to plot the graph of concentration versus time hanya plot concentration versus time Kalau dia garis lurus negatif slope, itu zero order. Kalau dia lengkung, dia boleh jadi first order ataupun second order. Kalau first order, ratio dia satu kepada satu. Selang masa ni eh. The interval here is one to one. The interval here is one to two. Ini memang nampak dengan jelas eh. Gap dia pertama kecil, yang kedua besar. Ini gap dia hampir sama. 